Hello everyone, I'm Sami Sadao from Egypt. I am Roman anti technical support manager at La Chance Group. As you know, La Chance Group has started in 2014 uh, in Shandong, China. And the company group is specialized in manufacture and provide uh, feed additives for animal nutrition. Today, uh, we will talk about beef cows and uh, feed additive supplementation in beef cows nutrition, mainly focused for pile acid. Beef cows, as it is known, is uh, animals uh, with a high ability to convert feeds to meat for human consumption. And this is the reason why it is very important for a human and the human will being. In addition, thousands and millions of people, it, it has a job. It's tools provided by the industry and the animal production industry, especially in beefs cows, dairy farming, and it is related industry and work. There are many famous species uh, in, in beef animals like uh, Simmental and Charolais and uh, Angus, and also it can include Holstein also because it has the ability to convert uh, feeds to meat. If we look at the, the, the chart and how much of, uh, of feeds that beef animals can able to use and to assist a human in, in terms of uh, food security. If we divide it 100%, uh, so almost 86% of feeds, it is in edible to human consumption. Beef cows can able to use it and convert it to produce meat. Such as example of this grass, grass feeds and the pie product and other uh, pie product uh, industry produced by different kind of uh, feed and during the manufacture like grain like molasses and other pie product that is also one of the reason why beef it is very important for food security look at the total uh, meat production across the world last five years Take example 2020, the total meat production in the world is more than 70 million metric ton. Exactly around 72 million metric ton. This is the meat produced by beef, cows, and including veal also. So what's the difference now between veal and the beef? beef cows. Feel it is a young or a small a young calf. It is around uh, weaning two months, three months, and the maximum around four months of life. In both side, beef animals, it is growing and to reach the, the high paddy weights to produce meat around maybe uh, 400 and 500 kilograms and even to be larger to reach around six or even 700 kilograms to reach to the slaughter. And this is uh, the difference between beef and veal animals. And also most of times uh, beef cows, it contains high amount of carbohydrates and the fats and protein and even uh, vitamin P except most of vitamin P, it is high in, in veal meat, but uh, vitamin P12, it is high in beef meats compared to veal uh, animals. So let's start for how to improve the body uh, conversion and the wheat conversion rate from beef cows. And this is the one of the important reason why it, it has the ability to produce meat, because it has the ability to convert wheat with a high rate to produce meat for human consumption. In this case, the important point for uh, animal nutritionist and consultant and the science and feed companies to provide uh, the requirement for animal to assist them uh, meet the requirement and the needs in different kinds of nutrients such as uh, protein, carbohydrates, mineral and the vitamins not only in this nutrient but also including its fraction such as if we talk as carbohydrate carbohydrate it is divided in each fraction in cncbs cncbs it is the famous software 
used to formulate the diet for ruminant and this is the ABC in CBS it is the abbreviation of Cornell net carbohydrate and the protein system it is simulation and mechanistic software to formulate the diet for ruminant animal like dairy cows like beef and even including also small ruminant like sheep and goats and also including uh, pavalo water in this case it is divided carbohydrate into eight uh, fraction based in it is the de degradation uh, rate and degradation time it between uh, fast and intermediate and low degraded or not degraded uh, carbohydrate and also at the same time for protein uh, and amino acids and also fat last four mineral and the vitamins also it is divided in these different categories such as for vitamins it is uh, divided into part a vitamin dissolved in the water and vitamin soluble let's now talk the pile acid and some uh, feed additives it is currently used to improve uh, animal performance in beef cows is important to improve uh, wheat conversion ratio and average dairy gain and this is lead to improve income and the profitability of dairy farm assist them to continue it is operation and also to to expand now or in the future and to support human needs for uh, high quality meat also Pile acid, as it is known, it is a, a compound product. It is compound into steroid nucleus uh, connected with a carboxyl group. In total, uh, around 24 uh, carbon atoms. Pile acid has many biological functions is to improve uh, liver function and also assist in some research to remove uh, and to decrease uh, detoxification from our origin and this is why it is become uh, wide used now in animal nutrition as a new feed additives it has started to use as a feed additives in poultry and the aqua more than 10 years uh, from now started to use in ruminant nutrition last a few years some experiment has already finished in dairy cows and in beef and we will show some uh, result in uh, pile acid application in beef cows during this uh, presentation. Some experiment in dairy cows is still undergoing in cooperation with uh, university here in China and some uh, overseas universities in Middle East and in Latin America to explore the efficacy and to evaluate the effect of pile acid in dairy cows in different perspectives from uh, production and fertility and economic aspect also as well so later when the result it is uh, ready so we will publish this in cci magazine and you will make a conference and webinar to show you the result and we will invite you to join us during this time well, let us take an example in the effect of pile acid in beef cows uh, there are many experiments conducted by la chance in cooperation with some university and our partner across the world one of these experiments was conducted in Latin America in beef cows, in grazing beef cows. This experiment was conducted in 2019. Let us summarize this experiment. This experiment was used uh, 400 uh, beef cows, around uh, 400 kilograms. Uh, we added uh, pile acid as uh, supplemental uh, feed additives with a dose 0.15% as uh, dry matter intake. That is mean beef cows in that time weighted uh, 400 kilograms, so it will consume around 13 up to 15 grams of pile acid based in dairy intake. Because you know, beef cows in uh, with body weight 500, so take around 2.5% of dry consume 2.5% of uh, dry matter intake per body weight so this is to consume around uh, 10 kilogram 9 up to 10 kilograms dry matter intake per animal 
per day. Multiple Z dose, so this is to consume around 13 up to 15 grams of pile acid per animal per day. This experiment lasted uh, 56 days, so almost two months. And during this time, uh, animal uh, was weighted uh, every week. That is mean uh, eight times during the experiment and they calculated uh, the consumed dry matter intake during this time and the water intake to calculate the average daily gain and to calculate the return on investment. Return on investment it is one of the important uh, financial parameters to calculate the, the income and how much we gain when we used or when we expend money or expend pay money to cover the feed. And it is uh, the formula, the famous formula, it was used to calculate return on investment as abbreviation ROI. So this is to calculate the income minus the investment and all this to divide it by the investment. And we will show how we calculated ROI in this experiment. In this experiment that we mentioned now, uh, after two months, the final average body weight, it was improved by around 70 uh, kilograms in body weight. And the average daily gain in the control group around one kilograms, comparing to pile acid group 1.25 kilogram. That is mean we have around 0.25 kilograms per animal per day or 250 grams per animal per day higher in pile acid compared to control group. This is in turn if we calculated the technical parameter and average daily gain. Comparing this to the pure period, pure periods, the average daily gain, it can range between 1.5 up to 2 kilograms per animal per day, and even sometimes it can reach more than this, to, 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 to be around 2.5 in some cases, but this is not a common. So in, in, in the common and in, in a normal range between 1.5 up to 2 kilograms per animal per day. And this is also depending in different factor, intensive system or extensive system, commercial farm or grazing farm, and based in the type of feeds and TMR composition was the percent of forage to concentrate ratio and the kind of forage and the supplemental and the environmental condition also. So in this experiment, we get, as I mentioned and as I said, uh, the beef animal was grazing, not intensive system. That means the animal grazing from morning until evening and to eat grass and in, in the evening to, to add it some uh, pelleted feed during this time. So we have uh, 250 grams per animal per day and so we will use this in next step to calculate ROI. ROI in this experiment considering the uh, all factors and the, the price of feed additives and the price of kilogram uh, fresh meats and then to calculate the income, the cost of uh, kilogram meat, and then to divide, to, uh, to subtract the cost of pile acid per animal per day. You can show in this slide how it was calculated, all the value and the equation to calculate ROI. So considering all this factor, we have uh, around 4.5 and even more the return on investment in this experiment. That is mean each, each dollar that we pay, so we get more than four dollars as a income after detecting the feed consumption. In feed as of term, the return on investment at least to be two, to uh, return in investment. That is mean one dollar you pay, so it should to get at least two dollars. So this is at least, and it to be more. So that is mean to say, return on investment to be two and maximum. 
So this is to be acceptable in term in return on investment in animal nutrition and feed others. So in this experiment, we think that feeding a bile acid lead to, lead to improve the feed conversion ratio and enhance animal performance. And also this is lead to improve the profitability and the income of dairy farm. And this is lead to assist the farming and integration company to sustain its production. And also to assist them to produce high quality meat for human consumption and to assist in supporting feed security across the world and to make our world more safe now and in the future. And at the moment also there are uh, one experiment in beef cows to, uh, is running now in Middle East in Egypt and in this experiment you are using the pure breeds of cemental and the charoli and the angus and probably at the end uh, of this month the experiment will be finished and we will uh, summarize the result and we do a statistical analysis and we will invite you for the webinar that we will show the result and uh, all uh, the benefit of this experiment and how supplementing bile acid can assist to improve the performance and the profitability of uh, beef cows. That is all from my side. Thank you and you are looking forward for the next uh, presentation and to you. Thank you all.